Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Ant, A-N-N-T. It is a DMX-512 with 86 LEDs, has voice activation, it's a four channel red, green, blue LED stage light, 25 watts, and it has three modes. It has gradual, color jump, and strobe. And the control modes are sound, auto, and master slave. Comes with a little instruction sheet here, which has the DMX address settings for DMX channel functions, and also how to control it with the dip switch and some of the specifications on here. I'm gonna go over some of these dip switches and see what it what they do. Right now, I have it in the sound activation mode so that I can play music and it uh, changes the colors based on that. It's a nice looking unit. It's relatively small and compact. It's about five inches in diameter and a width of about three and a half inches. And if you look at the back of it, you can see it has a nice aluminum bracket with some knobs that you could adjust the tension on so you can lock this at any given angle you need. It has a 120 volt amp fuse on here, 20 volt, 120 volt, probably uh, one amp fuse on here. And you've got DMX in and DMX out. And your power cable looks to be three and a half feet long. And then here is the switch settings with one through 256. So it's showing the, the binary equivalent. And I think what I've got set to, I've got three and nine in the downward position and if I look on here let's see uh, flash voice control it says 3 slash comma 9 so that's what I have in the on position the other ones are in the off position so throwing it down is the on position so it is in the audio control mode so let's see what this uh, looks like when we plug it in. So I have it turned on right now, and you can see it shining against my hand. And if I tap the unit, you can see how it's changing based on the vibration, because there's the built-in microphone on there. Now you can go through all these different settings. You see, you see responding to my voice. Testing one, two, three, this is the test. This is a test, Tessie 123. So you can see it's very sensitive and you could uh, set it up so that it responds to music. And it's uh, very cool looking. As you can see, look at all the different colors that have come out of there. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. So it's very functional. Now, I, I like the quality of this, it's very nice. And I don't have a DMX controller right now, so I can't really test the DMX functions. But again, you've got a series of switches on here that you could change to get all the varying things. Like for instance, you can control the green brightness, the blue and the red brightness. There's an auto run mode where just switch nine is placed down. So if I click these switches up and I just click switch nine down, there's a ninth switch right there. This is called the auto mode. So it's no longer sensitive to vibration. And what it's doing, it's cycling through the colors. And it's really on a slow mode right now. And I, you could change the speed of the strobe by uh, throwing the switches. Let's see. One through nine. So let's see if I throw these down, see what happens. Then all of a sudden the rate goes up. You could also control the transitions uh, between the different modes so that you can go from switching full to a slow transition. So my overall impressions of this device, this uh, Ant 86 LED DMX-512, I really like it. And the reason it's great is that it's not oversized, it's not overbearing. You can fit a lot of these on your stage and or in your studio. They're very lightweight and it runs really cool. So I'm gonna give this product a full five-star rating on my channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.